and amidst heightened tensions gripping the Middle East over Israel's continued war on Hamas in Gaza, Iran successfully launched three satellites into the orbit for the first time. The satellites are launched using the Simograph Phoenix satellite carrier rocket. Despite being heavily sanctioned by Western countries, Iran appears to have taken giant strides in its civilian space program. After previous field attempts, a large satellite named Mahada and nano satellites named Kahayan 2 and Hatif 1 are launched. Meanwhile, Western nations remain worried about Iran's rapidly expanding nuclear program. Iran faces increased theocratic pressure, but despite tensions, Iran refrains from military intervention. My colleague Arzu Said joins us on the broadcast to give us more on this. Arzu, if you could take our viewers through the details of these three satellites that have been launched. Uh, well, uh, in a significant development, Iran announced the successful launch of three satellites into space using the smog rocket. Despite the program's history of multiple failure, the launch took place at the Mam Gomini spaceport in Simnan province and marked the sixth attempt for the Simnan program. Also, uh, the named satellites, Mehda, Kehan, to and Arctic one serves various purposes, including research, global positioning, and and communication, Iran's Information and Communication Technology Minister ISA report, uh, reported that the Mehda satellite has already transmitted signals back to Earth. The uh, remote program has faced uh, setback in the recent year with the previous, you know, launch satellites drawing attention, including from the former U.S. Uh, President Donald Trump. Uh, the latest uh, year launch feature rocket bearing the slogan, We Can in Percy, likely differing the prior challenges while Iran described the more uh, as a satellite carry, a carrier designed for low Earth orbit concern arise from the U.S. intelligence community. The 2023 worldwide threat assessment uh, suggests that Iran's satellite launch vehicle could potentially shorten the timeline for developing an intercontinental ballistic missile as the technologies overlap. Yes. All right, Arzu, with that, I'd like to thank you for joining us on the broadcast and sharing all those details with our viewers. Meanwhile, Joining us on the broadcast is Mr. Sanjeev Shavas of International Affairs Experts. Uh, you know, I mean, Iran has uh, launched these three satellites, uh, but uh, in your analysis, what kind of concerns could this pose to the Western powers? Well, you know, as the uh, 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 Iranian uh, launch of these uh, uh, three satellites, obviously these are Iranian, uh, 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 they are claiming that this is... Uh, uh, satellite which will improve their, you know, uh, communication, uh, their uh, uh, capability and efficacy to uh, put uh, cargoes in space, uh, as well as uh, uh, they will. It will be used for, uh, for geo positioning uh, capabilities and the, uh, its enhancement of. Uh, and so I think Iran is claiming uh, this kind of a constructive, you know, uh, uh, aspects of this launch. Uh, but uh, the Western countries, uh, they are concerned that uh, this kind of satellite uh, could uh, uh, embolden the uh, Iranians' uh, uh, ambition to acquire, you know, uh, 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 more powerful ballistic missile. And this could be a dual-use uh, 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 item which Iran is developing. Obviously, Iran has a nuclear uh, weapon program, and they, they, uh, reports are suggesting that uh, they have enhanced their you know, uranium enrichment, uh, you know, uh, process uh, after uh, uh, the 2018 uh, uh, Iranian deal uh, uh, broke. And after that, this kind of uh, measures Iran is taking to enhance its uh, defense posture. It's for, and uh, and uh, Iran is also not only developing these nuclear weapons, but also uh, they have a very strong uh, a ballistic missile program. And if they continue uh, acquiring such capability to launch uh, such you know, satellites, then it will be also it could be also used uh, uh, by uh, uh, Iran uh, to uh, uh, make uh, stronger and a uh, more powerful uh, ballistic missiles. And that's what the concern and the fear Western countries are having. And that is and particularly Israel will have uh, this concern in particular. Uh, so I think uh, uh, these kind of uh, launches are being seen by the Western countries with a great suspicion. And, uh, uh, and the Iranian activities uh, are going to be uh, watched and accordingly the Western countries will take appropriate measures 
uh, if uh, they see that uh, these items are used for developing uh, weapons, uh, ballistic missiles. So I think uh, uh, certainly uh, Western countries uh, are not convinced that these are uh, uh, these are these are satellites are for only civilian purposes or constructive use, uh, but it could be used for uh, military purposes. So I think that is what the concern is. One thing is quite certain that uh, Iran, you know, has been using various uh, terrorists and proxies uh, uh, to uh, to gain its uh, uh, to enhance its regional ambition. Also, Iran has the ambition uh, to become a very uh, strong, powerful regional player. And for that to do, they are enhancing their capabilities, their resource, uh, and the various uh, military, you know, capabilities they have continuously enhanced. Particularly uh, after 2018. JCPO, the Iranian nuclear deal, when uh, President Trump came out of it, and then after uh, since that time onwards, Iran has you know strengthened that process, uh, and, uh, and and uh, this process uh, uh, of uh, uranium enrichment or ballistic missile development program is going in a much uh, uh, you know uh, faster way than previous times. So I think uh, certainly Western countries are concerned about it, and I'm sure that they are going to be you know following very closely what Iran does with this kind of a technology in future. For more such videos, subscribe to the NewsX YouTube channel, hit the bell icon.